food growing up. You know, my mom was always cooking at home. Uh, you know, she was like the head cook of the family and she inspired me to cook Filipino food one day. Four years ago was the first time I first, was, uh, was when I first started cooking Filipino food. Uh, she was going through cancer and she uh, uh, had me down her recipes. Yeah, it was kind of a blur. So much happened since the first since our first pop up, and and then we did another pop up somewhere, and it just kept like people just started supporting us, like, and um, and then we did a Kickstarter, and we raised enough money to open this place up, and you know I've just been cooking Filipino food food uh, ever since. Today we're gonna make the pork lechon. It took me about three years to figure out how to make this dish because uh, we're a tiny restaurant. It's, it's a little more, it's, it's a little over 800 square footage. So I don't have a, a spit or a rotisserie. I just have an oven. So pork lechon is an iconic dish in the Philippines. It's like a celebratory uh, thing to always have for either Christmas, Thanksgiving, birthdays, I mean, you name it. So basically it's suckling pig that's been uh, roasted for 10 hours on a spit using charcoal or wood until that skin is golden brown, delicious and crispy. Lechon is what, is what brings everyone together. <laughs> it's a girl in her beach chair. I've tried to get in a couple times before, haven't arrived early enough to actually make it in. Um, drove by a couple times, but the line was already so long. And today I just decided to dedicate my afternoon to it and came two hours early, brought my beach chair, which I just put in my car about five minutes ago. But I saw a picture of some beautiful shrimp with a head on and some gorgeous cocktails. So I think we're just in general looking forward to it. I feel like our food is very generous because I like to be generous and it speaks to the heart. You know, it's like it's Filipino soul food, pretty much. I just love the way how the guests they come up to the kitchen and they just say, "Oh my God, thank you so much!" Like this food is amazing, and you know it talks to them. You know all this hard work, uh, it actually does pay off. You know, like 20 years of cooking and then opening this 24 seat restaurant and taking all your experience and just implementing it in this one place. Like all your passion, all your drive, your ambition. It, it doesn't feel like you had a restaurant. It feels like you're coming over our house and we're just feeding you. Me, that's